The most important innovation is the nuclear installation's cooling system, which is capable of working even in the event that all power is lost on the ship. This is a new solution, and it will be used for the first time on this icebreaker. It didn't exist on previous icebreakers. It's possible thanks to air, in effect. It's an air-powered heat exchange, which due to the natural thrust allows the reactor to remain cool. Hull breaches are also nothing to fear. After all, like all modern icebreakers, the leader has a double hull. That's why even in the event of a collision with another ship or a submarine, the icebreaker will remain afloat. On this particular icebreaker, just like on previous ones, we've included structural protection against a collision with a smaller type of vessel. We've included structural protection against helicopter crashes, against running aground. That is, generally speaking, we've looked at all possible accidents, calculated the theoretical consequences, and then looked at certain structural solutions that would allow us to either eliminate the issues or to at least minimize the damage that could occur.